The open road. Destiny. History in the making. It was a celebration of human endeavour. A spectacular ceremony. A coming together of rapturous fans willing the riders to the summit of Buttertubs Pass. A peloton of elite riders snaking through the landscape at breathtaking speeds. Beautiful Yorkshire, filled with the vibrant colours, sights and sounds of the world's most epic bike race. The Tour de France Grand Depart, when Yorkshire played host to the world. We were there. Sponsorship regarding the Tour de France is an interesting topic because many of the main sponsors are, are tied up as they sponsor the whole tour um, every year. What we had agreed with ASO, the organiser of the Tour de France, was for, the, for this Grand Depart in particular, we could have some local sponsors for the three stages in the UK. Well, Yorkshire Building Society, if you think about it, are as Yorkshire as it gets from a brand point of view and therefore are a perfect partnership, a perfect match for cycling and particularly for the Grand Depart of a Tour de France taking place in Yorkshire. So for the Yorkshire Grand Depart in association with the Yorkshire Building Society, you've got a pretty perfect marriage from that point of view. The reason we got involved uh, with the Grand Depart was because we wanted to uh, boost our profile and our brand awareness and our brand consideration and particularly in the Yorkshire region but you know across the whole of the country as well um, and it came at a really good time because we were celebrating being 150 years old this year and also we were in the middle of starting our rebrand of our business and also to give something back to the region of Yorkshire and Humber which is our home. Well the objectives were, were relatively straightforward we wanted more people to be aware of us we wanted more people to think of us as their first or top choice financial services provider. We wanted to create a sense of excitement around our new brand and particularly on the, uh, the branches, many of which were on the, the route of the first uh, three stages as part of the, the, the Tour de France across Yorkshire and the East, East Anglia and London. Uh, and also we wanted to create some, create some real feel-good factor with our people. So that, that's what we were trying to achieve with it all. Yorkshire's most decorated track cyclist and firm fan favourite Ed Clancy joined the Yorkshire Building Society team as our Grand Depart ambassador. As a double Olympic gold medalist and five times world champion, Ed knows only too well the drive needed to succeed in professional cycling. The Yorkshire roads that welcome the race are his training ground. I'm proud to be working with Yorkshire Building Society as an ambassador for their support of the 2014 Grand Depart. They're celebrating 150 years since being founded in Yorkshire and it's great to be able to play a part in supporting such a fantastic event. National Team Pursuit Champion Adam Duggleby is now a member of the Yorkshire Building Society Finance Team. Adam shared his cycling experience and team spirit with his colleagues as an ambassador for the campaign. When uh, the Yorkshire Building Society announced they're going to be a sponsor of the Grand Depart, um, I just wanted to get involved with it straight away really. I was really like enthusiastic about it and just wanted to be a part of it really. Can't walk around the office without people saying, oh what do you think about what do you think about the tour then where are you gonna watch it? Where do you think I should go and uh, what, what <laughs> <laughs> just like you know every question you can think of. Uh, why are you not riding the tour? Questions like that. <laughs> I've had a few of those yeah. Yorkshire's fantastic for cycling has and more people are realising that now. And I think this has raised the profile of uh, Yorkshire cycling and for the whole of the UK really. Our relationship with Marie Curie is very important. Um, I mean, it's such a fantastic thing to be associated with, uh, you know, to help people in such a difficult situation. Marie Curie and Yorkshire Building Society launched a partnership. It's called the Hour of Need campaign, and it's a fantastic appeal that will last for two and a half years, and we hope during that time Yorkshire Building Society will raise half a million pounds. 
And then of course with Marie Curie themselves being uh, a charity partner of the, the Tour de France Grand Depart on our own relationship with the Tour de France Grand Depart, then those, those things came beautifully together um, and it's really captured the imagination of our people uh, and our customers and we're well on our way you know, to raising you know, a really significant amount of money for an amazing cause. As part of the Tour de France fundraising, Yorkshire Building Society have done some fantastic events. So 48 people took part in a three-day cycle ride. It replicated the Grand Depart, and the 48 people who rode raised £10,000, a fantastic achievement. For every £20 raised, that helps Marie Curie to put a Marie Curie nurse in a patient's home for one hour, one more precious hour of Marie Curie nursing. So you can see that all the good work that Yorkshire Building Society is doing to support Marie Curie, that helps us provide care for more patients who are terminally ill. Well, I really take my hat off to those colleagues who actually completed all three stages uh, of the UK Grand Depart legs. So, you know, they really did go the extra mile on their bikes to raise a lot of money for charity. So it was fantastic. I mean, what a lovely thing to do. As the Tour de France drew closer, 70 colleagues volunteered to represent Yorkshire Building Society at the Grand Depart. Over three days they distributed 150,000 branded items to fans. I was lucky enough to be part of the promotional caravan, so I was in one of the YBS branded vehicles distributing wristbands to the crowds. Really it was just such a once in a lifetime opportunity for the Tour de France to come to Yorkshire. I've been watching cycling races all my life and it was just too good an opportunity to miss really have one of the greatest sporting events um, coming through Leeds uh, with my employer being involved um, and also going past my, my home village it was too good an opportunity to miss. I was part of the promotional team based here in Leeds um, I was working in uh, Brigate I was giving out uh, wristbands um, and the bags all the branded YBS group and Tour de France bags. Oh it was manic in Leeds it was absolutely wonderful the amount of people there uh, really joyous occasion we went through our quarter of bags and wristbands in no time at all. People just wanted to be part of it and wanted what we were giving away. Yorkshire was the beginning. The grandest of Grand Depars. After 391 kilometres weaving past 40 of our branches, the race moved on to Cambridge and London. I was fortunate to go around all of the stages in the UK and see, as the cyclists were going around, the reaction on people's faces who were spectating, and to see the emotion and the smiles and the, and the pure joy on everybody's faces was just incredible. It was very emotional really driving through Yorkshire as part of the brand I was very proud to be part of it and hearing people having that brand awareness and recognition the sponsorship I think really raises awareness of what we do and that we are out there in the community taking our values to our customers. Yorkshire Building Society's involvement in the Tour de France has raised the profile for, for the county and cycling and the, the whole of Yorkshire Building Society's brand in general so it's got to be fantastic for, for everybody involved and the economy of Yorkshire. To have your employer embarking on such a, a big promotional uh, and advertising campaign, it's, it shows a commitment to the, to the region, um, to sport in general. I'm a big sports fan and, and the organisation being committed to sport is, uh, is very worthwhile. Oh, I think the impact on Yorkshire has been absolutely massive. Um, I mean, you saw the television pictures, uh, the excitement in the region was amazing. Uh, to be part of such a thing was, was just truly brilliant. It was like the Olympics and more came to Yorkshire for uh, a couple of days. So I think it's just a massive, massive event. It's made everyone feel fantastic and uh, we were just so proud to have been part of it.